Oh, my sweet business. I'm down here in the warehouse today, just trying to get down the stairs here. I wanted to show you kind of what I'm into here. This is uh, typical for uh, this time of year, getting prepped for Christmas and stuff. I'm heavy into it. Had to go down several flights. This is a very large warehouse, and we've got several different sections. I'm going to show you kind of what I'm going to be jumping into uh, right now. Let's get to it. Ahora estás viendo a Rusty Como. Here we are, folks. I'm in the thick of it down here in level H207 uh, asterisk. And um, if you know, you know, if you know our previous videos, you know that that uh, section of the of the bargain warehouse here is where we have a bunch of our toys. And so, um, getting everything ready here for the end of the year uh, sales. I've got 18 different uh, Star Wars related action figures that I've grabbed throughout the year. This is uh, one of those tactics, guys, is uh, going through, buying these up when they hit the shelves. Yes, it's retail prices, but I make money by holding on to it until the end of the year around Christmas time. And people are out there, they're ready to buy, they're wanting to buy gifts and presents for their kiddos. They go out to the store, oops. I don't see anything here. Guess I need to see if there's anything on eBay or wherever else. And uh, that's when they come to me. So, you know, if you want Star Wars, I got them. If you want G.I. Joes, I got them. Marvel Legends action figures, sure. Star Wars Legos. We got Five Nights at Freddy's. We got Space Jam. We got Masters of the Universe. More Star Wars characters. Tons of Star Wars. Mission Fleet. Mission Fleet or stuff. Action figures. Okay, some more Space Jam junk. More Star Wars up in here. Look at this. Star Wars Marvel Legends. Mystery Dragons. After I get finished with that today, guys, I got to go through here. I got a bunch of this costume jewelry that I haven't listed yet. Uh, I got some vintage pencils and pens. And, and generally, just some stuff that's kind of been laying around here sort of slipped through the cracks. Has that ever happened to you? You kind of, uh, you know, maybe you throw something up. It doesn't sell. This is a Trafari necklace here. It's a really good costume brand. Uh, this is another, I'm well, just dropping stuff in here. Here's another really nice, uh, it looks like jade, it is not jade, but we got a nice uh, red kind of carved stone there. I don't know what that is, Jasper, some kind maybe. Uh, but it's really cool, it's nice and heavy. Now, these are a couple items I threw up maybe a year ago. Didn't sell, lower the price, didn't sell. I, I dropped it off, somehow it didn't get relisted, and then it ended up in a bucket as if it was listed. Uh, but you go on, you search for it, you can't find it. It's not in the store, folks. What am I doing? That just happens sometimes. This is a nice little magnifying glass thing. I bought it at a, at a, at a Goodwill earlier this year, and you know what? That thing's going to sell. I just got to get it up there. So I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Collectible souvenir of Washington, D.C. You know what's kind of funny about that is on the back it says made in occupied Japan. So during the end, right after World War II, when the U.S. was occupying Japan to help kind of rebuild some stuff there, uh, they were producing uh, objects for like trinkets and different uh, things from manufacturing there for the U.S. market. It was shipped over, but it had to say where it was made. And this is a you know a distinct time in history, occupied Japan. I mean, things like there are collectors for that stuff, guys. I'm just needing to go through here. I've got oodles, okay? Necklaces, earrings, bracelets, lots of really great brands. I'm going to start throwing these up individually uh, over the next couple of weeks people are buying stuff for their kids but they're also buying stuff for their loved ones and the adults as well so anyhow i'm jumping into this just wanted to show you what i was at uh at, what i was into here at the warehouse today um you know i'm gonna try to try to get all this stuff sold in the next two months if possible i hope that helped a little bit <sighs> man i've got a lot of work to do uh but that's the business Got to work hard, got to work at night sometimes, got to work on weekends sometimes, got to work over holidays sometimes, got to work, uh, you know, even when people want you to stop working, you got to keep working. And this is just what it is, guys. There's no 401k here. There's no time off. There's no uh, benefits. It's a self-employed business. 
It's hard. Anybody who does this knows it's difficult. You can do it for years and it can still be difficult. And you just hope that one day it pays off. Well, I'm still working at it. I've started this. I'm doing my best. Um, hopefully, hopefully I can show you a couple of things here and there on these videos to help you out. Maybe it'll uh, learn you a bit and uh, you can avoid some of the mistakes that I make. Uh, I dropped a video yesterday on some stuff that we sold that showed a big mistake I made, and hopefully you can look at that and see how to avoid that. But anyhow, guys, thanks so much, Cousins, for being a part of this journey with us. Uh, we've, we've done a lot this year, and uh, we're very hopeful for next year. Talk to you soon. Peaches. Back to work soon. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair.